In this video, we'll show you how to replace the motor controller board of your puck press. You need to order the replacement motor controller board with the code displayed on the screen. The tools you need during the following instructions are the Allen key that comes with the puck press, a Phillips screwdriver, and a small flat screwdriver or box cutter. Start with removing the small cover cap from the Allen screw. Press the set button once. The tamper base will come down and CL will appear on the display. Loosen the tamper base Allen screw and remove it. Loosen the tamper base from the thread by hand, clockwise. Set the power button to zero and wait till the display goes off. Turn the puck press upside down and remove the plug from the socket. Remove the rubber cover. Loosen the ground wire screw and remove it. Loosen the six top plate screws. Remove the top plate. Unclip the two cable connectors. Loosen the two screws from the motor controller board frame. Remove the controller board together with its frame. Remove the metal fastener. Use a small screwdriver to unlock the motor controller board from its frame. Remove the old controller board. Slide the new controller board into its position. Put the metal fastener back in place. Put the motor controller board back in place and tighten the two screws from the motor controller board frame. Reconnect the two cable connectors. Put the top plate back in place. Tighten the six top plate screws. Tighten the ground wire screw. Put the rubber cover back in place. Install the power cord and turn on the puck press. Tighten the tamper base counterclockwise. Put back the tamper base Allen screw and tighten it. Press the set button. The tamper base goes back up. Put back the small cover cap from the Allen screw. Let's tamp.